This is a short tutorial on how to get your data from an Excel spreadsheet into SPSS. So the first step is to open up, um, actually the first step is to clean up your Excel spreadsheet. Um, so you should look at the tutorial on how to get your data out of SurveyMonkey um, to give you tips on things you need to do to clean your data up. To get your Excel spreadsheet into um, SPSS, you need to go up to File, Open, Data. File, Open, Data. And you need to go to where that data is on your on your hard drive. So like I um, put mine on the desktop. If you notice down here on files of type, um, it, right now it's looking for an SPSS statistics save file, which you don't have. But you can upload all sorts of other things, including, um, for future reference, a portable file. So oftentimes you can get um, portable files off of government um, data sets or it's something that um, you can transition if you're using another system like SAS you can turn it into a portable file and you can bring it into SPSS. But one of these options is Excel. Okay. So what that does is now all of a sudden I can find my Excel sample um, data set. So I find it here and I click open and it's going to ask me a question about whether or not I want to read variable names from the first row of data. And the answer to this is almost always yes. You want to keep those variable names. Remember, that's the only place you should have variable names is in that very first row of data. So what it does is it just opened up my very, very small data set. And you need to kind of, when you get it into SPSS, do a little bit of cleaning here. You need to go and put real values in here, like so the name of the respondent, their year, their school. You need to fill in the values. One is a, being a first year two is being a sophomore. So you need to make it something that you can use, right? So you can make your master data set. You also need to check over here in this row of type, right? So you want to make sure that if you have a date, for example, that SPSS knows that it's a date variable. String variables should only be for variables where it's all words. So it's open code, you know, it's an open source question or something like a name, something you want to keep. Sometimes SPSS will misread a variable when it comes in as string and this usually happens when at some point there was there were words in that column in Excel um, and that's okay you just need to tell it um, that no this is a numeric variable instead that's really important because if you try to go and do like a cross tabs with it it won't let you because it's a string variable so you can just go in and kind of clean everything up that's basically it if you look over in your data there it is there's your data um, and you're all good to go